Okay, so it was on a, well watching a stream by um, Lethal Lightning, otherwise known as Prince Lethal, as his channel. Um, awesome guy to watch, very awesome. Um, and I can't. And he showed a tweet where they were announcing something. I'm, I took a picture of it because I didn't know. Or I forgot to. Well, now I'm going to read to you. Maybe I'll put a link to where you can find the tweet on Twitter if I remember to. But um, here it goes. It comes from Discussion Film or at Discussing Film. An original animated film, Batman Azteca, Shokuk de Imperios, in the works from HBO Max Latin America. I'm surprised they didn't use the Latinx slur. The film follows a young Aztec boy who uses the, the temple of... Tizinic can I I don't know if that's right. And here's the thing: there's actually a bad guy. I found this out on the on the stream. There is a bad guy, but that's not it. I don't know if that's a real temple though. I'll have to look up after I. Uh... Anyway, the bat god as a lair to confront the Spaniard invasion and avenge his father's death. Now, here's the thing that I thought that I remember being brought up, and it kind of brought some flashbacks for me. Of all the people you could have made the Batman of Mexico in ancient times, they chose probably the worst of the tribes or groups or factions were in that region. Now, I know very little about most of the people that come from that region or their ancestors. I, I do find their history kind of interesting. Like, their mythology is kind of fucked up, though. Well, actually, no, not fucked up. I only know one god from that story, which is Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. I mostly remember it because... He was mentioned in a Scooby-Doo movie I saw as a kid. In middle school or before middle school. Anyway, anyway. Um, the Aztecs were assholes. I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. They were assholes of the highest caliber. Do you know how they got their capital city? I forget what it's called. Like, I remember there was a documentary on them, and this was one thing that stuck to me. They arranged a marriage between one of their guys and some other... and a woman from another group. They killed said woman... And then skinned her. You know what they did with the skin? They had a guy perform a dance for the father of the woman. Guess what the father saw the man was wearing while, while he danced? His daughter's skin. Now, as you can imagine, the father was understandably pissed. So him and his buddies chased after the Aztecs to kill him. They flee and get away and they get on a boat. And then that's how they found the city that became their capital eventually. They found it by serendipity. And as far as I know, they never... So, and I also remember hearing in the stream that none of the other tribes, like the Mayans and them, they did not like the Aztecs. Like the Aztecs... Like one thing we often hear about the people from Mexico before the Spaniards arrived and basically fucked some shit up and, and basically forced themselves onto the population and made the Mexico we... And basically provided the ancestry for the Mexico we have today, which... I kind of question if they would be proud of, but anyway. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Most of these groups, they had a habit of getting a slave, bringing them to the top of an altar, and cutting them open and ripping out their still-beating heart. I, I love that story. I have no idea why I'm a fucked-up individual on some level. But anyway, they did that. But compared to the Aztecs, they were tame. The Aztecs did it so often that, like, Imagine alcoholism, but in excess. This was their vice. They killed people at such an alarming, excessive rate that uh, even the other people who did this were like, hey, man, you might want to slow down. Like, imagine, like, Lovecraft being called on his racism by his fellow authors. This was a guy born at a time when racism was kind of okay. And even some people, some of his contemporaries were like, oh, oh, man, that's kind of going a bit far. That's what the Aztecs were to these people. They were the Lovecraft in terms of race. Well, no, actually, you know what? Comparing them to Lovecraft is an insult to Lovecraft. Lovecraft at least changed. These fuckers, they didn't change. They kept up till, until their bitter end, as far as I know. And I find it even more disturbing why they did it. Actually, I can't remember why they did it. Like, the usual reason why they would sacrifice people and kill them and rip out their heart was they thought that would keep the sun going, I believe. The Aztecs, I think they did this for funsies. Like, I do not think they had a reason. I just think they did it because they could. Like, it would not surprise me if that was their logic. I'd have to, like, after I finish this recording, I'm going to look up and refresh myself on why they did it because now I'm kind of curious. But anyway, anyway. Another thing is, 
it, it's not like every, it's kind of funny that they're probably going to demonize the conquistadors, which, for the record, there's plenty to demonize. The conquistadors, the Spaniards, they were assholes. They tried to destroy the culture of Mexico after they got there, from what I remember. Like, all the mythology, they tried to destroy it. They tried to burn books that were saved by sympathetic priests. But anyway, not all the tribes hated the Spaniards. Um, some of them actually worked and collaborated with the Spaniards to take down the Aztecs because they hated the Aztecs more than the Spaniards. So, uh, yeah. It's just... Uh, don't get me wrong, this sounds like an interesting concept. I will grant, I will begrudge them that at least. This sounds interesting, but the art looks shitty. Like, I remember Lethal showed an image that someone sent him, told him about, of someone who actually did a Mexican Batman suit. It looked badass. I would have preferred that. Now, granted, this is like. Bef I think that one he showed was like for someone who was more close to the modern day. My, I can't remember. I've kind of forgotten. I've kind of memory holds some stuff. Like I forget things really easily sometimes. Anyway, if you wanted to do something like this, I wouldn't have made it about Batman. I would have made him like a proto Batman or a vigil like that's what Ghost of Tsushima did. Like I said this in the comment section of the stream, which is if I want a ninja Batman story, I'll just go play Ghost of Tsushima, which I'm still in the process of playing, by the way. Still a fun game. I think you could have done that. Like, if you want to tell a story of someone from pre a proto Mexican story, or a, one of the Incans or Mines or whatever, you could have done that. You you could have set someone from that region. Maybe had it been about a war between the groups and maybe them gain revenge on someone. But it's kind of funny that this guy only goes after the ones who killed his father because. Let's be honest, the Spaniards killed a lot more than just one Aztec guy. Like, they weren't that particular about who they killed. If you did not submit to them or go along with them, they killed you. Again, from what I remember, it's been years since I had a history class talk about this, or I saw a documentary on it, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, it's just weird. Like, the art is shitty looking. The story sounds... Meh. Well, the story itself admittedly isn't terrible. It's not asinine. It just sounds generic. But anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just, it is kind of funny that they chose that particular group of proto Mexicans to m make their character. Like, I would have gone with the Mines or the Incans, to be perfectly honest. Like, I forget how many groups there were in Mexico and South America when the Spaniards arrived looking for gold for some reason. Well, actually, yeah, I think I know why. I think there was a lake they drained and they found gold in it. That actually may be where the idea of El Dorado came from. From what I hear, anyway. I think this is a really sarcastic production set. But anyway, anyways, I'm sorry. I have a habit of getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, it's just kind of funny, in a way. Because it shows a lack of creativity. Now, admittedly, I am not the most creative person. Because when if I finish my stories and you look at them, they are pretty generic. But even my ideas sound better than this. Hell, I could probably do better than this. Granted, I, you wouldn't, you couldn't pay me enough to do a Batman story because, if I'm being perfectly honest, I hate Batman because I'm more of a Red Hood mark. But um, although I also wouldn't mind giving Nightwing a try at some point. But again, sorry, getting sidetracked. Um, it's stupid, but it could be better. I, I would say, if anything, the only real thing I have to gripe with is, is the art. Let me take another look at this. Um, well, actually, no, this art looks very indie, and not the good kind of indie. Because I've seen indie art for, for, for indie comics, which I want to get my hands on at some point, like uh, Soul Finder and Common America, which I think Doug Ernst is involved, and Blade Devil that Reg and Golden Eagle wrote. I want to get my hands on that and Sword of the Conqueror. Like anything made by YouTubers I watch, I want to get my hands on. But even th but their artwork looks better than this. Like, you should be able to see the art, because I will be using an image from the tweet in the video. This fucking A, man. Fucking A. Or fucking H. Like, crap, damn it. <laughs> like, even Marvel probably is going like, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, even Marvel has to be thinking, and, and they are the bastion of stupid ideas 
for comics. Like, DC had some stupid ideas even before this shitstorm went off the reservation. But Marvel perfected it, was molded by it. Or they molded it. They, they were like the darkness to Bane. Anyway, uh, that's my overall thought. Is just... Like, the story itself doesn't sound too bad. I would just have changed the group he comes from. Like, I wouldn't have said Aztecs, because, again, the Aztecs were assholes. They weren't that the most sympathetic of people. If anything, I'm pretty sure the day they were gone, if the people of Mexico had any guns, they probably would have made, like, Udi who's... They probably would have done what happened when Udi Hussein was announced that he was killed. The people of Baghdad, when they heard that fucker was killed, they shot their guns all throughout Baghdad. I'm pretty sure when they heard the Aztecs were gone... The other Mexicans probably asked, hey, uh, Conquistador, can I borrow your rifle for a second? What are you going to do? I'm going to shoot in the air like a madman. Go for it. Like, that's what I think they probably did. Like, they were probably happy that fucker, those fuckers were gone. And uh, I think they were a big... Imp- like, again, it's been years since I saw a document. Like, I remember a few years back, I did a history class because... For a college... Because I'm a big history buff. I love history. I love it. Almost as, probably about as much as I love redheads, but that's another but that's another time tyrant in, in general. Um, like you could have made him a mine or an ink, and I would have gone with that. Or uh, if there are different groups from Mexico, you could have gone with. Like I only hear of three. There are probably more. Again, I have to do more. I have to go back and look at them now. But yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, that's the video. Sorry, I have tirades and tangents and. When I'm not scripting things, I can't tend to tr- um, diverge from the arguments sometimes. But anyway, that's the video. Have a nice day. And um, remember the game was rigged from the start. And pray for sanity because if anything, this shows a lack of sanity at DC, which sucks for me.